In ancient China, there lived a strange beast called Nian. He had sharp horns on his head, scales on his body, and he looked very fierce. Nian lived in the ocean, and usually he didn't come to the land. Only on New Year's Eve, he would come out from the ocean to look for food. He always ran to the village nearby and stole food from the villagers. One of the farmers had had a little lamb, a little pig, and a colt, but all of them had been eaten by Nian. Sometimes the beast would also hurt innocent villagers. So every New Year's Eve, all the villagers, young and old, had to run and hide in the mountains, trying to escape from Nian. One such year, on New Year's Eve, all the villagers were getting ready to go hide in the mountains. Then an old man with white hair came to the village and said to an old lady, "Please let me stay the night at your home, and I'll help you drive away the beast." When the people heard this, they didn't believe him. The old lady said fearfully, "Nian is a very fierce creature." Maybe you should just come with us and hide in the mountains. Everyone was trying to convince him to hide, but the old man still wanted to stay. At last, they left him alone and went up to the mountains. On the night of the new year, just like in the past years, Nian came to the village and turned everything upside down, trying to find something to eat. Suddenly. He heard some loud cracking noises. Nian was stunned. His whole body was shaking, and he couldn't move. Then the old man walked out, wearing a red coat and laughing loudly. He was setting off a string of firecrackers. Nian got scared and ran for his life. He was very afraid of the color red, of bright lights, and of the sound of firecrackers. The next day. The villagers came back to their homes. They found everything untouched. Only then did they believe that the old man with white hair really had chased the beast away. They were very grateful to the old man. Before leaving the village, he taught them how to chase the beast away. Since then, on every New Year's Eve, people glue a pair of red couplets on their doors. Light firecrackers and put bright red lanterns in their homes as they wait for the beginning of a brand new year. Being afraid of firecrackers and the color red, Nia never again came to the village or hurt people. This custom has now spread far and wide and has become the grandest festival of all among the Chinese people, known as the Chinese New Year.